Hey guys, it's Cody Rawl from Tech for Psych. Today we're gonna be taking a look at the Muse headband from Interaxon. It's this really cool personal EEG device that reads your brain waves. We're gonna do some uh, interesting things with this. We're going to pair it with our phone so that we can use the Muse app for meditation. The meditation app actually gives you biofeedback through your earphones to help you shape and improve your meditation skills. We're also going to uh, pair it with our computer so that we can take a look at the raw brainwave data and do some interesting stuff with it, like map it to 2D and 3D maps of our own heads. Now the first thing that you need to do with the headband is actually charge it. If you look in the box, there should be a charger that kind of looks like an iPhone charger. And if you just plug it into an outlet and then into the back right earpiece and leave it for a couple hours, that will have it 100% charged for when we need it. The next step is actually going to the app store on your phone and downloading the Muse app. Just search for Muse, the brain sensing headband from Interaxon. Uh, and then just download and install that on your phone. I'll be using an iPhone, but it works on other phones as well. Once you have your Muse headband charged and the app downloaded and installed on your phone, we can pair the Muse headband with your phone. Now if you look, on the right back earpiece, you've got this little circle that's a power button, and you also have a light bar. Now what happens is if you press down the power button for five seconds, the light bar starts flashing on and off. That's how you know it's in pairing mode. So at this point, I'm gonna go on my phone and go to settings and look at the Bluetooth options. Uh, one of the Bluetooth options is uh, Muse-F8F4. That's what my Muse device is called. It'll be different on yours, it'll be Muse something else, but whatever it is, click on it. Uh, it'll go from not connected to connected. And then you've got your phone and your headband paired for further use. Now once you have your headband connected, you can open up the Muse app. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put in my earbuds at this point. Um, the earbuds are what is going to give you your biofeedback. Basically as you meditate in different scenes, the scenes either get louder or quieter based on how quiet your brain is. So I'm gonna plug in my headbuds. And when, once you get into the app, it's got uh, several things in there. The first section is called Me, and that's one of the interesting parts about this app, it actually tracks your progress. You can see uh, under a certain section called All Sessions, how many total minutes you've meditated, how many birds you've gotten. Birds are basically rewards when your mind is super calm, you, you start hearing birds chirping in the biofeedback, letting you know that you're doing really well. It also has the number of recoveries and also has something called Calm Points. Uh, it gives you this week's goals, it gives you a challenge, it gives you the current streak you're on, and that's one of the great things is it tracks how many times you've done it in a row so that you're encouraged to keep meditating day after day. And we all know that probably one of the hardest things for people to do in terms of meditation is being consistent with it. So in the middle section, as you can see with the headband icon called Session, uh, you have several options here. Before you start the session, you can change the length of the session. You can go from anywhere between three and 45 minutes. Um, you got different soundscapes. The, the options right now are beach, desert, ambient music, rainforest, and uh, a city park. Below that, they have exercises. Now, I'm gonna do it on no guided exercise right now, and this is actually something new that they've added. I'll have to do videos in the future uh, critiquing the different exercises, but the options right now are called Muse Essentials and E-Mindful Life. Okay, once uh, you think that you have your session all um, orchestrated right, like for instance, I'm gonna do five minutes and I'm gonna do uh, beach soundscape, you can start your session. Now, before you start the session, you might as well just put on the headband you can see the sensors are on the front of the band right there. That's actually what's picking up your brainwaves. And believe it or not, the rubber on the back of it actually picks up brainwaves too. It's a special conduct conductive rubber. So you want to fit it snugly around the back of your ears and on your forehead and try to adjust it so that all the sensors are touching your skin. Now when you press start session on your phone, it's going to sense to see if it's all connected. And um, mine's all connected. 
So once it's all connected, you sit back and it calibrates. So you got to sit back and allow it to calibrate. For this calibration, find a comfortable position and close your eyes. Take a deep breath. Muse is now listening to your brain signals. Relax and let your mind flow naturally. So basically what it did right there is got a baseline of brainwave activity so that it can tell between your baseline and when you're meditating. Now, once the scene starts, you'll hear the, the sounds of the waves in the beach. And the, the louder that the waves are, it almost sounds like a storm, like there's a bunch of wind ripping and roaring. That's how you know your uh, brain is overactive. And what you want to get to is just very light sounding waves. And even those birds, if you get the birds, you know you're doing real well. So I'm just going to sit back and meditate for about five minutes here and let Muse do its thing. Place your attention on your breath now. Once your session ends, you hear the music, and then you look at your phone and it says session complete, tap the arrow to see your data. And then it's really cool, you can see all the different data points that you got from that session. Uh, you can see the different amount that you're active, different amount that you're neutral, and different amount that you're calm. Um, I was 76% uh, calm, 17% neutral, and 7% active. So that was that was pretty cool, good uh, session. Um, I've done better in the past, and that's what's great about this app is because it'll show you the different variability and how you've done in your sessions. And you can actually keep a journal to see um, like uh, how, how you felt during the session and try to correspond that with how well you scored on your sessions. Um, it gives you calm points, it gives you recoveries, it gives you birds, it gives you awards. You can share on Facebook if you want, you can share on Twitter if you want, and you can save it. So once you save it, it goes back into the wealth of data that you have, um, comparing it to the rest of your sessions. Like I said, uh, it tracks your progress from session to session, and that's how you can get better and better at your meditation. Now. Let's talk a bit about what this device is actually doing. So this, this device is recording the brainwave patterns from your head. As you meditate, you're going to create different brainwave patterns between meditation and between when you're in your active state. Now Muse has not given me the algorithms that they use in order to determine how you're calm, but it has to do with different ratios of brainwave frequencies. And I'll do a video in the future talking about the different frequencies like alpha, beta, delta, gamma, theta. Those are the different frequencies that are going into algorithms in order to give you feedback on how calm you are. And I think as this technology progresses, we're actually going to see different algorithms that are going to show different levels of calmness, different levels of alertness, different levels of meditation. And we're going to see all these different types of different um, brain states reflected in uh, programs like this. Now it's awesome because what this has done is given the power to the individual user. Before, systems like this would have cost $10,000 and taken up you know, half a room. But because our computing speed has gotten fast enough, because our phones are powerful enough, we can actually take the EEG leads, put them in a personal device like this, and then have that through wireless go into our phone and have our phone process that data. And since you got that whole setup, since you have that whole system set up, now the individual user can use a headset like this and record the data, get biofeedback and everything that's included with it. Now in the next video, I'm gonna show you how we can look at the raw EEG data using our computer. We're actually gonna link our headband to the computer and use programs like MATLAB and EEG Lab to look at the raw data. Then we're gonna map it onto head maps, 2D and 3D head maps, so you can see where the different uh, brainwave frequencies are happening on your head. So if you're really interested in that, stay tuned for the next video. Thanks so much for listening.